This picture shows a heavy but effective well-known way to concentrate the sun's energy, known as the parabolic trough. When facing the sun directly, it is designed to reflect nearly all of the sun's rays, like ultraviolet, infrared, to the center along its length, where the heat energy is concentrated. Like the parabolic dish, which can use a steam-driven engine in the middle, it has to track the sun during the day to concentrate as much of the sun's energy onto the engine for it to work properly. It too is heavy and has moving parts which needs maintenance and so solar panels are more practical in some ways to convert the sun's light into electricity. That way we'll get even coverage of the morning and afternoon sun to combat the, the household energy usage throughout the day. Although they are only around 15% efficient, at least some energy is converted during days of cloud cover and concentrating the sun's energy on solar panels is fraught with problems to say the least. Cloudy overcast day and Demeter is slowly spinning backwards. That's what I like to see. Okay, that light's all done. Running air conditioners or electrical heaters directly from solar panels would require huge surface area panels just to service a small room unless the energy collected over time was stored into a large buffer, such as a bank of lithium ion batteries. And it seems that the most practical solution is to live under the surface of the ground as they do in Cooper Pedy, Australia, to mine opals and gemstones. However, using a parabolic trough to store heat in some sort of medium such as oil or water is possible. And as this experiment shows, but it will need to be insulated well to avoid loss during the day if it is to be used when it is needed. Using heat to create cold temperatures is also possible. Before the modern refrigerator, there was what they called the absorption fridge, which used ammonia inside mild steel tubes to remove heat from one section and disperse the heat from another. The problem here was that the mild steel tubes would eventually corrode from the outside of the steel tubes and release a deadly concoction of ammonia gas where it could kill anyone unexpectedly. The modern day refrigerator simply uses an electric motor to pump around refrigerated gas through tubes. When it passes through a small tube it loses heat and they simply utilize that area for cooling. Extracting heat from a room with a light flat panel that can be installed on a roof sounds like a good solution because the hotter the sun is the more effective it becomes and if it can convert the sun's energy directly then it becomes efficient as well. I have drawn this as a simple mechanical animation because it is easier to explain and even build another point I would like to make is that this is not my solution to climate change it is only food for thought the concept here has been deemed technically sound but being feasible is a completely different thing altogether anyhow for those who are interested here are some further thoughts on the idea the real power of the Sun lies in the part that is invisible or the infrared and ultraviolet light spectrum however Think of a human heart and how it pumps blood around the body by compressing and opening and closing valves. The only real moving parts that can wear out are the valves themselves and they could be made to last a lifetime and even be easily replaceable. Now think of many smaller pumps and flat focusing lenses on a flat light panel which take it in turn to heat and cool down by concentrated sunlight. Of course, this idea can only work when and if the sun shines, but that is when it becomes the most useful and efficient. What do you think? <laughs>